I'm Sarah Fergani with Kent's 5 News Now. A car is discovered shot up with two people inside it hurt. Now police are digging for any information they can find to catch the shooter. This was in shirts at a neighborhood on Columbia Drive near I-35. Police say they found a car riddled with bullet holes Sunday around 2 a.m. There were four people inside, but only two were wounded. Police say they have limited information, but have reason to believe that this was a targeted attack. No word on how badly the victims were hurt or if any if police have any suspects if you know anything that can help detectives with their investigation call shirts police at 210-619-1200 new pictures show a woman wanted in a crime spree in two cities new Braunfels police say on june 3rd this woman stole a car from a new Braunfels planet fitness gym then drove it south 20 minutes away to a walmart in shirts where she used the victim's credit card there police say she walked in then left in another vehicle with a man also seen in the pictures police are hoping that viewers can identify her and pointed to unique tattoos on her left arm like the outline of texas and another one reading you're enough the Kumal County Crime Stoppers is now offering a reward of up to $4,000. You can give them a call if you know anything. The video of a little San Antonio boy, a toddler and a baby left in a hot car by themselves is getting millions of views online as police arrest their mom, who's now facing charges. One child was suffering from heat related issues, but thankfully all are expected to be okay. Thanks to a good Samaritan who happened to park next to their car on Friday afternoon at a shopping center on 281 and Thousand Oaks as temperatures that day reached nearly 100 degrees. The woman who rescued the kids says she noticed the little boy in the front seat. The door was not locked, so she opened it and she found the four year old, a one year old and a one month old in the back seat. Police say their mom, 33 year old Angela Garza Amador, left the kids in the car for nearly an hour and told officers she didn't notice how long she was in the store. Garza Amador is now facing three charges of abandonment and child endangerment. She was released after posting bond. The kids are now in the custody of Child Protective Services. A West Side homeowner says she was forced to shoot and kill a man after the man refused to leave his property. The homeowner told police the man showed up to his house near South General McMullen on Highway 90 around 1 a.m. Sunday. He was looking for a different address, but police say he apparently got upset when the homeowners asked him to get off their property. The man left and returned when the homeowner found him lurking in the backyard. Police say that's when the suspect lunged at the homeowner and the homeowner shot him in fear for his family's safety. The 48 year old suspect died at the property. A crime stopper's alert leads police to a shooting suspect thanks to several tips from people who saw the story on Ken's 5. Police arrested 21-year-old Andres Jesus Gutierrez nearly six months after the shooting. At a Via bus stop, police say Gutierrez started, started arguing with another man on a Via bus. And when that man got off the bus on South Zamora, Gutierrez followed him and then pulled out a gun and shot the man several times at the bus stop. Investigators say multiple tips and surveillance footage from inside the bus helped them catch Gutierrez. Dramatic video shows the moment a suspected drunk driver slams into a southwest side home. All this happening Friday night off Springvale Drive. Police say the driver initially told him that he was the passenger. However, investigators figured out that he was actually the one behind the wheel. The homeowner says this is the fourth time someone has crashed into her house. It's traumatic, like you can't sleep at night sometimes, especially if you hear somebody screeching their brakes in the front yard, is like you're up all night, you just can't sleep. Over the years, the city added speed bumps to the area, but the homeowner says she plans to petition for another speed bump closer to her house. Inhumane and deplorable is what the sheriff is calling the conditions of the Northwest Side home, where 26 dogs were rescued and another was found dead. A tip on Thursday led deputies to this man in the house. They say the homeowner, Michael Moore, opened the door and deputies could smell a strong odor of urine and feces inside the house on fossil banks near 1604 and Shanefield. Deputies say they found dozens of dogs that were malnourished and dirty, along with a dead dog in the kitchen. It's a sad situation, you know, it's always a very sad situation when something like that happens. People think they're taking care of them, but, you know, they're actually hurting them. Moore is now facing charges of animal cruelty and more charges are possible. Starting today, Texans will have more control over their personal online data. The Texas Data Privacy and Security Act 
passed last year, but now just takes effect. The law requires all businesses to get consent before processing people's sensitive personal data. The law also allows Texans to access, delete, or ask a company to stop collecting any data it has on them. For today's forecast, Paul Mireles. And today it is going to be a hot one today. We'll see high temperatures around 100 degrees. Plus, watching barrel, we have to watch it as we head into next weekend. That's Ken's 5 News Now. I'm Sarah Fergani.